please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Over to Manglam now for the world view. Well, a mixed finish on the United States of America. All the three indices, the Dow just a few points away from a yet another record close as well, but still closed with a mild green. What did well in the US were all the retailers continued to search for the second day in a row. We got good green uh, uh, signs coming in from uh, Macy's, Coles as well as Gap. Adobe Analytics uh, report indicated that the Black Friday sales this year was up 17% year on year. So that is positive as far as consumer sentiment is concerned. But across the Atlantic, uh, sharp red cuts in the European markets, all of them down at least around four tenths to about five, a half a percent. If you take a look at the banks in Europe, they lost in trade because Switzerland's biggest bank, J uh, Julius Baer's CEO, resigned. The euro too hit a two month high versus the United States currency dollar. If you take a look at uh, the peripheral markets, uh, the Italian index, that one was the only one which outperformed, uh, rather underperformed with a cut of 1% as against the ATEX as well as the EBEX. Uh, red on the uh, emerging market screen as well, Russia as well as Brazilian indices. But Asian markets, they recovered. The Nikkei and the Kospi after opening in the red moved higher and have moved into the green. The SGX Nifty still indicates a mildly muted start with a cut of almost 20 points. Okay. All right, Mangdam, thanks very much for that. It's Global Q's not.